add in hunting footage today. Wasn't planning on going back out after two swaps in five hours, but there's a shark sighting. A shark sighting here, so I'm gonna go take a look, see if he's here, see what this shark is. Let's go. All right, I'm inside, just a quick trip. And I came down for one movie, one movie alone. And it's already gone. The damn shark swam away. Somebody, I guess, came and caught him. So I already own this shark, but it would have been nice to have another one and hook up a buddy. Uh, while I'm here, though, I'm looking at the shelves, and I did see this. I'm like, is this what I think it is? Seal, still sealed for that price? Uh, yeah. Also own this, but uh, I'm not going to leave that. Are you kidding me? That's a win right there. So... Uh, while I'm just poking around the horror section, I did see the books that somebody brought in. Uh, these are new, and I kind of want this. I'm not a big comic guy. I'm not a big book guy, but an Aliens comic book hardback. Definitely a baby. Um, I was looking over this Ghost Rider, and then I'm, I'm like, oh, Kong? King of Skull Island? I love King Kong. This also looks interesting. So I'm going to have to put this on the radar maybe for next time. So... But yes, this is what I was going for. This is what was posted, but it was already gone. So cruel. I own it, but I would have loved another copy for 50 hey, bucks. Hey, what's going on, everyone? I am home again. <laughs> Time to show you just a small, small but mighty haul. Uh, as you can see, I just went to my spot, my honey hole. They had some cool stuff. A uh, whole bunch of new toys. Collectibles have been coming in. As you see, what I picked up those the the last week with the Silent Night, Deadly Night Part One, Two, the Night of the Demons, you know, Susie and Stooge, like love it, Cocaine Bear at the swap meet lately. So I've got one more collectible today, and I uh, wanted to bring home two more, and I probably still will if they're there in the next couple of weeks. Uh, I'm putting together a little trade-in box that already started from that swap meet. It's looking pretty good. So hopefully uh, I'll be able to do something. Um, and I'm not ready to talk about it yet, but great news came home with the wife. I'm kind of excited. That's why I'm or at least pumped up right now. So that's why I'm doing this video kind of late. Uh, but I feel like it's like I just woke up. Uh, so I, I don't want to talk about that yet. I don't want to jinx anything. So, but anyways, let's just get to the movies. And then I'll show you the last little thing. So, da -da -da, Bounty Killer. I think I have this. I think. Um, I can't remember. But I, I don't think so. So I just I grabbed it just in case because I'm like, I, I don't think I have it. Uh, Miami Rhapsody. I know I don't have this. I haven't seen it in forever. Um, Antonio Banderas, Sarah Jessica Parker. You know, like a sexy comedy, but not really sexy. You know, maybe just like light sexy. Uh, but I don't have, I didn't have it. I wanted to kind of rewatch it. Uh, Love Me. This looked very interesting. I've been like looking it over a few times the last couple of weeks. It's an Anchor Bay release. I know nothing about it, but the more I read about it, like read the synopsis, I'm like, okay, I, I, I want to watch it. Um, so I'm going to take a chance on this one. Love Me. Young Love is about to take some very dark turns. So it looks like kids, school, either like they're like somebody dies and they're involved, trying like a cover up kind of thing, maybe like a River's Edge you know, kind of feel, who knows, that'd be awesome, because I like River's Edge, but anyways, uh, not quite Hollywood, mm, like an exploitation documentary, uh, Brella put this one out, and, uh, yeah, just gonna give it a shot, free willing, sex romps, blood-soaked terror tales, high-octane action extravaganza, that's pretty much what I was looking for and expecting out of this, um, I have all of the, I like their documentaries, or, like, not just movies they put out, uh, like the Canon Brother one. What's that? The, the two Canon Brother film. I can't think of the name right now, but there's actually two documentaries about the Canon Brothers, uh, stuff like that. You know, so anything exciting that brings like Hollywood, Holly weird even to it, I would like. Uh, this I really wanted to see. The visit. Uh, and it it says it's creepy, sus suspenseful. Um, what Jaws did for sharks and what Psycho did for showers, the visit will do for grandparents. So that right there, I was like, okay, I hope that's what I'm looking for. Uh, the owner of my spot, he's seen this and he loves it. So he likes that movie a lot. So I'm like, I think I'm going to try it. 
uh, split, you know, another M. Night Shyamalan Lama Ning Dongs. Uh, I'm going to give this one a whirl. I've never seen it. Never, I just didn't give it a chance before. So I'm going to try, you know, split. Uh, this, it's funny. I almost, like, I I, ha, I think I had this, but I, then I did, must have did something with it. I couldn't see it the last time I went through, but I could have overlooked it. Now that I think about it more, I think I know exactly where it is. So this might be a duplicate that I'll do something with next time I double check. And even funnier, there's a Blu-ray that just came up available online that pretty good price. And I was like, do I really want it? No, I just, I'm just going to stick with the DVD for now. Uh, Return to Horror High, because it's not that good. <laughs> um, Return to Horror High. Um, it's basically like a sequel, if I'm not mistaken, to... Um, was it was it Slaughter? Slaughter High? Is that what it is with Marty? You know, the freaking... I'm drawing a blank right now, but that's probably what it is. Slaughter High or something. I can't even think of it right now. But anyways, yeah, Return to Horror High. You guys tell me below. Tell me below, because I'm drawing it. Boom, blank. Uh, Return to Horror High, George Clooney. Not, again, that great. I, it was a very beautiful, clean copy. It still had its little, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, insert. I mean, look at that cover. Look at how they did DVDs, dude. It's beautiful. Look at that DVD. It's freaking... So, yeah. It's still a fun one. This would... I remember watch, seeing this, like, on... Uh, I think it was, like, the Blockbuster shelves. So, when you see a skeleton in a... You know, on a cheerleader outfit with pom poms, go for it, like cheerleader camp, stuff like that. Like this stuff, oh, it just sells. So I'm getting on the final three. Uh, Blood Moon, picked this one up, didn't have it. It was right there. Kind of an alternate pickup because I went for, yes, Cruel Jaws. I already own it, but when I saw another one with the slip pop up there, I just was so curious. I ran down because I know somebody I thought that didn't have it. Turns out it was a different movie we were talking about altogether. So I probably would have picked it up just in case for someone because what I found out, it already sold. But it was 50 bucks. He listed it for $50. And it's at least double that online, you know, pretty much. Or at least, you know, $25, $30 more, you know, if you get lucky sometimes. But. It was a great price, and I'm sure it was in good condition, and somebody grabbed it, you know, because it didn't last long. Uh, my final two. Uh, you saw Cocoon. I picked up Cocoon. I own Cocoon, but I didn't want to leave it for $15. I mean, it was brand new sealed. It, it's definitely worth $15. So I, I know I'm going to, yeah. I'm going to keep that. that. This one, actually, I think this is actually better than the copy I have. This is brand new. My other one's a little bit, you know, used. So, I don't know. I might probably just keep that and do something with my other one. So, and the final one for the day, like I said, quick and easy today, uh, Olivia. So, even better, tonight was halfway to Black Friday sale for Vinegar Syndrome. Uh, this is one of the vinegars I didn't have, and I collect vinegar. I will tell you, I picked up eight new titles, and I already picked up the mystery titles from the Black... Halfway to halfway Black Friday, <laughs> whatever they do, you know, pre-flash Black Friday. So 10 new titles will be coming from Vinegar soon enough because it's gotta wait. I just got to wait till the end of the month, um, even a slipcover. So uh, that is it for today. Um, these were all the movies, and I'm not done. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's not done for the day. Uh, we've got one more, one more little thing to show you. This is my collectible. Uh, so yes, I did pick up the little green guy, little green ghoulie. Uh, I couldn't leave it. You know, full moon. Uh, it's my first full moon pictures, um, like collectible statue thing. I'm pretty sure these were more available at like a like a con or something to that effect. Uh, I remember seeing one at my swap, seeing one and at my buddy's table, and I just passed on it that day. And it was gone. So I think if I'm not, I could be mistaken, but this could be the same one because that particular dude traded in a bunch of stuff at my spot. So maybe he had still had it and he traded it in. Now it's back, it came back around. Uh, I'm going to ask, I'm going to ask the dude, double check. Hey, did you trade in your ghoulie statue to my spot? If he says yes, 
then I'll know this is the one from like a year and a half, two years ago that I passed on because I just didn't have the money and now I did and I got them. Oh, Kev, I'm so happy. So that's it for today. <laughs> Those were the, the movies. And my ghoulie. Yes. So what do you like? I like this. I like this the most. But I like a lot of the movies too. I just, I've just had like, wish I didn't pass on it back then. So when it was there and it was at a great deal, I was like, this is the one. This is the one to pick up. So with that said, if you're feeling it as usual, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, thanks for coming back and watching. This one should be a little easier to get through since it's not an hour. <laughs> and uh, M Memorial Day weekend, I think it is. It's some holiday, right? Monday, I'm off. So four days, there's going to be, I'm sure, some sales, some garage sales, estate sale, maybe a yard sale thing, a swap meet for damn sure. I'm going to try to get out somewhere. Hopefully I'm feeling lucky, feeling lucky. Somebody's want to sell this weekend. They're going to clean their their attics or garages or basements out and they have movies there they're streaming now and they want to just give them to me for cheap putting it out there <laughs> putting it out there come on movie gods bring something good this weekend so that's it later